So if you're driving to a free sales call to sell whatever you're selling, then today I'm going to dive into how to increase your conversion rates on those offline sales conversations. Before we dive in though, like, subscribe, do all the things we need and love it when you do uh, to help us reach more people on YouTube. So um, again, Jeremy Weber here coming at you, uh, founding member at Brand Builders Group. Um, and so we want to dive into this idea of, hey, you're, you know, based on what you're selling, you've determined, hey, it's probably a higher dollar offer. I need to be talking with people to try to close them. Um, I'm doing that. It's just, I'm not converting at the highest rate possible. You know, what can I do to increase my conversion rates? And so through other content we put out, we, we've let you know that if you're kind of below the 2000, maybe 15 or even a thousand dollar price point, you know, like there's a chance, right? You may be able to get people to buy now online. Obviously, if you have more authority, more trust you've built up with your audience, that price point creeps up and up and up. But obviously, if it's above that, then you're going to be offering a free call, just trying to get people on the phone, have good conversations with them. Um, and so if that's the case today, um, we basically say that the right type of offer structure is key, okay? So um, the difference here is with, with an offline sales process, we, we really recommend looking at what's called a collapsible offer structure. And the beauty of this, we, we say that it makes the most sense if one, you're selling in an offline manner, right? You're talking to people to try to convert them. And two, you have a, a common need in the marketplace. You have you know, your audience that you're serving. They all have kind of a general need, let's say in our case, to, to build their personal brand, to become more well-known in their space. Um, but, uh, so they have the same need, but but the the amount they're willing to invest to kind of get that help is different, right? So like it's basically saying, hey, well, you need 10 things to build your personal brand and I'd love to give you all 10, but if you can't afford all 10, I'll give you three, right? If you can't, you know, if you, if you can afford more than three, right? But you can't afford all 10, I'll give you seven, right? So it's basically you think they have the same need, uh, but they have different budget levels uh, that, that means that, you know, look, if we want to monetize a broader percentage of our, our market, we have to figure out how to meet them where they're at financially. And we do that with what's called a collapsible offer. So today I want to dive into actually just kind of building one out for you so you can kind of see what this looks like and, you know, what we're talking about. So very basic, right? Think of this as, you know, uh, kind of maybe like a, you know, a three-step process. Step one is you're going to brainstorm out what are all the features, right? All the things that are on the menu to buy. Um, step two is figure out, all right, cool. Now that we know all the things that are available, like think of these as the tools in the toolbox, right? Um, you know, let's figure out what tools we want to unlock for people at uh, a basic tier. And then what tools we want to lock in addition to that at a medium tier. And then what tools we want to unlock at like the top tier, right? Because all the tools are required, but not everybody can afford all those tools. But we want to meet people where they're at financially to one, monetize, but two, help them, right? Like you just say, hey, this is what we sell. And if you can't afford it, I'm sorry. There's some value in that from staying focused and disciplined. And maybe there's a time to do that. But if your goal is to monetize a larger percentage of your platform, uh, help as many people as possible, um, then you need to kind of introduce something like this. Um, and so if we step through this, if we think about, you know, I'll, I'll kind of step what would be called a uh, typical membership program. And so let's say that uh, content, you know, library. So what's cool here, think of these as your courses, your online courses. So knowledge is pretty foundational when it comes to uh, helping people understand something and then getting them to take action and then see a result. So how do I take the knowledge in your head, right? The knowledge in my head, package it in a form that's scalable, right? You do that through putting it in these on-demand courses in a learning management system or whatever. And a lot of people will say like, well, no, I actually want to sell this course separate and this course and then this course and they fragment it and they have all these different courses they're trying to sell. And this is another reason why it's really valuable to kind of consolidate those strategically 
into this membership program because what you can say is like, look, the knowledge to do it is required, period. I'm not going to keep the knowledge from you, right? So across all of these tiers, you're going to get access to the full content library, okay? Because I'm not trying to hold anything back from you. I also don't want to deal with some of the technical complexities of having to time unlock and, you know, all this stuff in the LMS, which is very doable, but just adds to the complexity. Um, Let's say the next thing is like the community. It's also saying, look, I'm gathering like-minded people that are coming together. They're they're all trying to build their personal brand or they're all trying to work on their wellness or whatever it may be, right? So, so another key thing feature that you want to uh, kind of list out and showcase that they're going to get is, is community access. Is a private community, could be through a Facebook group or whatever, right? So typically you don't want to hold that back, right? It's like, I want you to be part of the community because remember, people come for the content right? But they stay for the community, all right? So you don't want to be saying, hey, not everybody can get into the community. You want people in. You want them to build those strategic relationships with them that make them feel, feel part of a family and want to stick around. So the other things you could say is like, um, you know, work, uh, workbook, you know, resource, uh, kit, something like that, right? So think of this as, you know, hey, getting access to the content, and maybe these would probably be switched right here um, as far as how we sequence and lay them out on the offer on the sales page. But think of it as like, hey, you're getting all the content in the library, but you, we've also created some templates or a resource kit to make it easier to take that knowledge and apply it, right? So we want everybody to get that too. All right. Then the next thing would be you know, group trainings, right? Maybe these happen weekly, monthly, biweekly, whatever. But this is where we start seeing a, potentially a little bit of segmentation is like, hey, group trainings and then group expert, you know, uh, trainings, right? So these are outside um, people. These are inside, uh, you know, like certified coaches or you as the founder or like whatever. Uh, but think of this as like group assistance. You could also say, you know, group coaching slash hot seats right? Whatever it may be, um, just remember that uh, you're going to make the determination on <clears throat> when are the logical break points here. So let's just say for this membership program, we wanted to be really clear that, you know, hey, like this is the DIY tier. If you just want to get access to the knowledge, the community, um, you know, kind of the toolkit to support the work, right? You're going to be doing it on your own. But this here is going to be the done with you, right? Um, so naturally, like we're going to be giving you some group assistance in here. And then at this top tier, um, over here, tier three, where people are paying the most amount of money, um, yeah, I wouldn't maybe call it uh, done for you, but it's it's leaning more in that direction because not only do they get the knowledge, which is the content library, the community to be connected in, the toolkit, and all the group style trainings, they start getting a, you know, like a, you know, a certified coach, right? Monthly or weekly or bi-weekly coaching calls, right? Um, quarterly events, right? Or whatever like that. So you can see where, you know, you're basically able to say, look, when you're willing to pay more at tier three, um, we're unlocking more personalized services for you, a dedicated, you know, get access to a certified coach. Uh, you get monthly coaching calls with them or whatever interval makes sense. You get to come to our events, which is more assistance, more community. Um, so you're willing to pay more, you're willing to unlock more. But at the end of the day, what's important is that we're meeting you where you are. And the beauty of this is on the sales call, uh, and just real quick, like know that you need to figure out price, you need to figure out terms for each of these, and you figure out your call to action. Um, but the beauty of this is we just focused on how an offer structure like this will help you convert at a higher rate on your sales calls is that one, it doesn't feel as salesy. If you come with one of these like, oh, okay, well, here's the offer. You know, um, if you buy it today, you know, you get this much off and, and just so you know, there's only 10 available at this price. So like you really need to move quick. That starts feeling very weird and very used car salesman. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm just like, 
you know, talking about it. But the beauty of this collapsible offer is that based on your sales script, you're going to start off with just, you know, like you want them talking more than you are, obviously. Um, but you want to start off with understanding what's their dream, like where are they trying to get to? What are they currently struggling with? Right. So you kind of go through your process. But when it comes to like trying to see if if we're a fit, like if there's some role we can play in helping them, we've got options, right? We can meet them where they're at, um, you know, financially and still serve them and help them and get them started. But the beauty beyond that is that there's clear visibility for that that customer on, you know, like how they can go deeper into relationship with you. So this not only helps you with the initial sale, but it helps you with downstream upsells or extracting more value out of those accounts because there's a clear ascension ladder of saying like, look, I'd love to get on this level, but look, I got, I got to start here. Like I need to start here. But one day as we get traction with this, I'm going to upgrade to this because I want to get a coach. I want to meet with them regularly. I want to come to these events to move forward even faster. But I just can't right now. But a good thing you got an option to get help me get started based on my current budget. And then as soon as I have more to invest, I will do that. So if you're in a place of selling what you're selling in an offline manner, um, be sure to create a collapsible offer um, and then gives you options to sell people what they need and obviously support them through even bigger ways as they get into your community and start seeing results for you. So as always, if you found this valuable, we'd love for you to comment below, share your thoughts. We'd also love for you to share this with other people, um, like it, uh, all, all the things, subscribe to the channel, help us reach more people. Thanks, guys.